after having your breakout game against Hammer Clark and you're getting your confidence back in, 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 in your arm, now we start to prepare for uh, Crown Point, a team that you won, won to play since 1991. Um, on our last day of practice, Thursday practice, before our game, what happened? Well, just go back to, you know, this, this, uh, what must say, this, 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 is, this is bigger than me, no brown right here. I'm going to tell you this. Um, we, um, the local newspaper interviewed the DB on our team, got athletic cornerback, you know, he had good talent, man, Rodney Reynolds. And they asked, you know, who was the best wide receiver in the area. Um, Rodney went to say OJ Connor, and Gary Westside, took that as a slap in the face. So that whole week in practice, I went at Rodney. I mean, when, if it was a slant, I ran a post. Every time I burnt him, I said something to him. And it got kind of heated in practice that week. And um, he said it was an accident, but I saw it happen. I beat him on like three or four go routes for touchdowns before that. And on the fifth one, I had him beat, got him on a double move. And the ball was underthrown, so I had to wait for it. Now, I mean, Rodney never had good ball skills, but I know he could. He didn't even turn and look at the ball. He he just like ran through me before the ball got to me. And when I was going down, I mean, he stumped my ankle. I mean, he even made the uh, noise when he did it. And I got up and I looked, and my foot was turned sideways. Now I'm thinking in my head, is man, I know my ankle broke. So I had broke my ankle twice before the end in the off season. And I'm thinking about this crown point game. And I tried to get up and walk. And all the adrenaline in my body just was able to give me two steps, and I went down, another surgery. Same season, ankle surgery. I got to be in the hospital on Friday night instead of out there against Crown Point. Yeah, that's crazy, man. I, I remember that. Um, it was real heartbreaking for us, man, because we were really confident going into sectionals. You know, you was getting a good rhythm with Marcus. Our team was gelling, you know, from a, a receiver standpoint with yourself, Mike McGee, um, Nick Reyes at the time, and Austin Malave. Now give us your thoughts on how you felt about your teammates and then your thoughts of um, sitting at home hearing the game on the radio. Man, that game was, was weird because um, the doctors, um, they, they, they had my weight messed up. They said I weighed more than I, than I really weighed. And the anesthesiologist gave me too much anesthesia. So that instead of me being able to go home after my ankle surgery, which I was supposed to be on the sideline at that game, I, um, I had to listen to it in the hospital because I had to stay overnight because my, my heart rate was, was, was too high from too much anesthesia. And I was passing, you know, in and out. And it was a good game, and I passed out. And I woke up, and the radio station was playing music. And I ended up, you know, making some calls and find out that we lost. And I, 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 I couldn't believe that, man. I mean, because that was, that was, my, that was my chance. You know, they, they ended my brother's season. So that's, that's really what I want to do. I want to end that season. Okay. Now you're in the rehab process with, with your ankle. And I, I watched you in the, in the weight room, man. I mean, you really put in the work. I consider you one of the most hard, hardest working athletes as far as the weight room, probably in Central History. I don't know what happened, you know. But I think in my era and before us, you put in a lot of work, man, to, to come back senior year. You gained 10 pounds of muscle. Now let's go into the play of how you want to accomplish your senior season. Senior season, number one thing was that scholarship. I mean, it's a team game, but you know, you got to get that scholarship. I mean, I'm trying to go to college and play, so I, you know, I can go to that next level. Number two was I wanted to be, and this was a goal that I had in my own head. I wanted to be nationally ranked. I wanted to really have our team like blow everybody out by 40. You know, when we played Ben Davis blow them out by 40. I mean, we played Terre Haute. I mean, Kokomo, Terre Haute North, Ben Davis, all three of those teams ranked in the top five in the state that you went to. Yes. I wanted to blow all five of them out and, and make a statement. You know, like, we, this this is an all-American team. We got too much talent. We got D1 talent on the field and the sideline. You know, just go ahead and do this thing. Now, in two years, East Chicago Central, our, our, um, our 97 team went undefeated in the 707. Played all the top talent in the state. What did Penn Mishawaka, no, what did Ben Davis safely tell you after we blew him out? Man, it was one of the one of the most 
made, made me angry, but they were saying we had beat Penn two pins like nothing was ranked in the nation. Yeah. We, we blew Penn out at that same passing camp, like 50 something to 14, and they had a nationally ranked team. So we played Ben Davis. We blow Ben Davis out. It was 40 something to yes. it, was, yeah. it was ridiculous. We blew them out too. And we walking off the field, you know, we all, you know, being cool. And Ben Davis says to us, wait till we get our line and it's going to be a different game. And that's when I kind of start having thoughts in my head. Like, I think what made me so mad because it was true. I was, we couldn't block nobody. And I'm like, man, when we, when we play them, all them open routes that I had, I'm going to still be open, but the market's going to be able to give me the ball. So. Yeah. Gotcha. Now let's go on to play with that. Um, as you know, Marcus was a exceptional athlete. He was a great leader, but he wasn't a, a pure quarterback. He was an athlete. Athlete. Uh, I remember one day we had a meeting. It was the six, seven seniors, and the conversation was about uh, possibly putting Keon at quarterback. But out of the seven seniors, only two seniors agreed on it. Um, kind of go on to play on that conversation. Tell you something about that. That, that. I wanted to leave Central again after that meeting. I'm serious. Um, I don't, it, it not many times the opportunity coming to what we had. We already had state championship talent, but I remember going on to my grandfather saying, man, we won a lot of them. Like, what you talking about? I'm like, man, we got this freshman dude. He got an arm. He got a size. He's smart. He's been playing the game. He know how to play. Marcus going to play receiver on the other side. We finna put Key on quarterback. I mean, like, we gotta do that. My grandfather actually came to the seven on seven camps and watched Key on throw. And I mean, I mean, I mean, it was different. When we caught the ball, we had so much more room to run because the ball was getting us so much quicker. On the deep balls, you weren't getting nothing thrown. You was catching them stride. So my grandfather, you know, we talked. He said, man, you need to, you know, get with your, your teammates and let them know that's the best move to make. And out of the seven seniors, the two people who voted, you know, for Keon to be quarterback was me and Marcus. And Marcus never wanted to be a quarterback. I remember me and Marcus grew up playing football together as little bitty kids. He could always throw, but he's just an athlete. And we came in as freshmen, they are like, we'll be a quarterback, and I just said Marcus. And of course he got out there and killed it because of his athletic ability. But Marcus never wanted to play quarterback, and he showed people that by when Major universities wanting to run the option. He came out here to Northern Iowa with us to play receiver, play play DB and receiver. So, you know, it would have posit positively affected me and Marcus. But I feel like um, the running backs on our team numbers would have been affected because we would have threw more. It wouldn't have been that all that speed back there to run the option. And you know, I don't know why Mike didn't vote for for. Um, Keon, but I think it was just bad decision making on, on on us as a team on that. How did it affect your relationship with your um, seniors? You know the the skill players. Was there any tension? Was there any disagreements? It um it changed my goals because then my goals went to I'm about to get mine now because they don't care about the team aspect because if they do they would have had Keon the quarterback instead of Marcus. So I. I changed my goals. It more or less went from like, let's win state to let's get 80 catches.